It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Tennessee Titans. Next, on Madden NFL 24. We are in a sweet spot as far as football weather is concerned today in Nashville. Just enough chill in the air for a sweatshirt, light breeze, fall in full swing at Nissan Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Tennessee Titans. Brandon Gordon joined by Tennessee Sports Hall of Famer Charles Davis. And CD, these Titans stumbled a bit last year. They were coming off six straight winning seasons, a number one seed in 2021, but they fell to seven and 10 a year ago. A major surprise because it certainly looked like they had the division locked up around midseason. The big key for them, more consistency at the quarterback position, keeping their guy healthy and being able to run the football as impressively as they've done in the past. Meanwhile, for the visiting Ravens, I think everybody seems ready to turn the page from 2022. A tough finish down the stretch. Some wacky plays in that loss to the Bengals in the wild card round. They just want to reset and come out swinging in 2023. Oh, I love how you just expressed that. You're exactly right. Reset and come out and play in Ravens football again. And look, they had some anxious moments in the offseason. Now, a sigh of relief. They have their key pieces in place. They're ready to attack. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Nashville. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, the Titans ready to take over on offense for the first time. And it is the now 35-year-old Ryan Tannehill who leads him out in his 12th NFL campaign. Those who expected Ryan Tannehill to go quietly into the night after the Titans drafted Will Levis, well, they clearly don't know this man well at all. He's a fighter and former comeback player of the year and expects to have his best season yet as a pro in this campaign. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Tannehill now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Tannehill. And that's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's a 
First down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, Hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Second down, they go again with Henry. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. Now it's Tannehill. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's a Titans touchdown. It's Traylon Burks for Ryan Tannehill. And the Titans are on the board first here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 7-0. This one away, and off it goes. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. The Ravens' offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. All the talk of Jackson leaving the Ravens this offseason was just that. Talk as the two sides hammered out a deal that made the highest paid player in the NFL. And why would they want to separate? When he has the ball in his hands, great things typically happen. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Second and 10, here's Jackson again. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Dive look defensively here for the Titans on third. Jackson from the shotgun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and five at 
the Titans' 37 yard line. Let's go now, let's go. They run for the first time with Justice Hill. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from the 20. And the Ravens are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with a touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger, a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Tannehill. And this is incomplete. Well, Brandon, all receivers are trying to make sure that the defender thinks they're going to the middle of the field when they're running the out cut. On that play, didn't get it done very well because that one was batted down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Tannehill. according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Tannehill. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Roquan Smith. Drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. The only reason we don't hear more about Smith as a blitzer is because he does so much elsewhere in the Bears and now the Ravens' defenses. Still had four and a half sacks last year, along with 169 tackles. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee.
fielded at about the 28. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Jackson on first down. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's him. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. This now a third and four. On the draw is Edwards. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run once more with Edwards. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Thirty-eight yard line, second and nine. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the thirty-five. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. To throw is Jackson. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. They'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They're going for it with the option right. And they're knocking on the door now. As a good run there, they're going to take this to about the 10-yard line. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. The field goal would have been a pretty decent length, but I'm still kind of surprised they didn't kick it. Yeah, I know, because you think you take the three there, trust him, but at the same time, if you can't pick up a few inches in this situation, you probably don't deserve to win the game anyway. Go get it, and they did. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. That's into the hands of Flowers over the middle. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers from 10 yards out. And the Ravens have taken the lead. The catch and the touchdown, they were the end result of a terrific route run by the receiver. Now Tucker to add the PAT.
It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. A last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start with a give to Henry. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll run it again with Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did that time for a loss. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Defense. you got to be kidding me. Well, he was just trying to contain DeAndre Hopkins, and he got a little too close. And because of his ability to line up in different spots on the field and come at you from different angles, different guys have to cover him, and all of them have the same issue. How do you do it without interfering? In this case, it didn't get done. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Here's Tannehill. Open man, Westbrook Akine. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. This offense so far on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. Sliding out of the pocket. Give him a couple on the scramble in second down. Here's Tannehill. throw here's incomplete so many things have to go right for any passing play to work out 
Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Now Tannehill. No, oh, and that is incomplete. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. On uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. And now here come the Ravens. And they fell behind early, but since then, two touchdowns and a 14-7 lead. Yeah, they found the end zone on their first two drives, and even more so after the defense gave up the first lead. But these last two drives, obviously they inspired their D because they shut them down the last time out. They hope to continue that string. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. We talk about setting a tone or beginning a drive. That run was absolutely textbook. <laughs> I'm telling you, partner, now they're not just thinking about an easy drive. They're thinking about maybe taking it downfield. Yeah, started at their two. Now they've got a heavy amount of breathing room. Here's Edwards again on second down. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Now Jackson on first down. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, <laughs> CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those guys even occupy a defender for even a half a second, then Lamar Jackson is gone. You've got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson, and hopefully you can hem him in. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Second and seven. Jackson. And yeah, this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35 yard line. Now, Jackson. Side, it's Beckham. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 31 yard line. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 26. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Flowers going to go in motion right. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive.
On first and ten, it's Jackson. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. Touchdown! Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Titans now just about ready to take over. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Tannehill. That's complete once again to Hopkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. First down. Still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. The Georgia man, Roquan Smith, came in and got him. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Again, it's Henry. They find some open field here. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That good for 22 and a first down. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Tannehill. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Going right back to DeAndre Hopkins. And it's a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 28 yards. And the Titans have cut it back within a score. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Now Folk for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. 
A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. Gus Edwards heading back onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Ryan Tannehill and the Titans going to get the football back. He already with a couple of touchdown throws in this first half as his guys start first and ten. After the interception, here's Tannehill. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Back to throw, Tannehill. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Tannehill. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights, and that'll bring him back within four. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started, 
So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. The offense for the Ravens returns to the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Jackson from the shotgun. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now it's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And Jackson throwing once more. Pass complete on the out route to Beckham. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. Jackson now. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And it's third and short. Try and run for it with Hill. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? It looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Keeper there, and it is second down. Throwing is Jackson. And that one to the right side and incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. An eight-play drive to this point. 
point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Here's Jackson. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is gonna be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it is really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's Jackson to throw. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Gus Edwards the one he was looking for, and that'll make it third down. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Jackson eluding the pressure right. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. 
Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Third down at six. Jackson leaves it with Edwards on the draw, and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Thirty-five yards that time on the punt, and it'll be Titan football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and ten at their 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. They work now on second and nine. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Henry again on second down. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup. And now they've got a third down and eight. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. That is caught, and he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field. Defensively, make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. First down carry for Henry, and not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Second and nine. Now Tannehill. incomplete so many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs but in this case the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it after an incomplete pass on second down that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine Tannehill and that's going to be too high and incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Edwards now on first and 10. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. 
first play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. A short throw caught by Andrews. And Andrews is going to have a Ravens first down as he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. A slant route caught by Bateman. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. Off the option, here's Edwards. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. He loses four, and it brings up four. Boy, you know, some plays, you can just sort of tell they're not going to work from the start, and that was one of them right there. Yeah, I mean, he had every option taken away, and so all that was left for him to do was to try and keep it himself, but even he knew that he had nowhere to go. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A short throw taken in by Conquero. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Henry up the middle. And Henry going to have a Titans first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. On first and 10, Tannehill. On the slant, Burks. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves to James. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now Tannehill. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Out of the gun, Tannehill. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 35. Give him ten yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. 
And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. The pressure that time right up the middle, and he was able to wiggle in there pretty easily and get the sack. Yeah, sometimes you end up getting caught in a little bit of a breakdown about who to block up front. And that creates the gap there. And he took full advantage, got to the quarterback, and finished off the sack. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Here's Tannehill. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 16. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. From the red zone now, Tannehill. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, gonna be a good chance that any attempt is gonna be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. Second and 10, Tannehill once more. Down inside the 10. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Inside handoff, Henry, and he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. You get down in this area of the field, you know you're going to get a heavy dose of number 22. They stopped him for a short game there, but can they do it a couple more times? So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Henry. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Brandon, now we find out what their definition of commitment is. They've run it on the first two plays. Do they come back and do it again? They're that much closer to getting into the end zone. Yeah, inching closer and really knocking on the door now. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville, it's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They snap it to Tannehill. set up for a fantastic finish now a fourth quarter touchdown here we're an extra point away from a tie football game and i know they're thinking about possibly going for two but i'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level don't forget the extra point it's up and good and an important one that is as we are all tied now early in the 
this fourth quarter. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 16. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. the middle here's Edwards and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 12 yards the pick up there good for a Raven first we often give credit to the O-line there two tight end formation those tight ends block pretty well also yeah and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now the tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack and they can also get downfield and catch the football and they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And unable to get downhill there, so he'll take this up to about the 37. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The Ravens on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This will be third and six. This is Hill on the draw play. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space. Maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 20. He'll throw from the gun. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Third and three. Tannehill now to throw. 
Able to find the open man. That's complete. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. space. Here's Tannehill. That's complete downfield to Oconquo. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 34-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 65 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They keep it with Henry on first down. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. Roquan Smith, the all-pro, the former Bear, is there to make the stop. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. On second down, here's Henry. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. That toss play right, we know it's one of the successful plays they have in their arsenal, and they showed you why there. And remember, in order for it to be successful, because it's a little bit of a slower developing play, those blocks at the line of scrimmage have to be kept have to be held so that the runner can get to the corner and turn it upfield. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. To throw is Tannehill. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. They tried to fade there to the back corner, and Charles, you know very well, that can be hard to stay in bounds on that route. So difficult because you have to start the route to give yourself enough space to actually fade away from the defender and stay in bounds, just as you described. If the defender's able to take away that little bit of cushion, it's often hard inbounds with the ball and complete the play. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tell you what, Brandon, if I see a dime look, if I see six defensive backs near the goal line, I'm changing to a running play every time. And they had six there. Surprised he didn't audible at the line? Very much so. I'm going to count on my offensive line in this situation against the lighter defensive backs and try and push it across the end zone that way. Folks, kick is good, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll look to throw. That ball was tipped in the air and Bob ultimately fell incomplete. It caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. On third down, Jackson. Knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good. Even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense, they actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well that I think Lady Luck was on his side. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Tannehill. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That one good for only six, and it leaves them with a fourth down. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down, so you've got to think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, guy, like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock, kept him short of the marker. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Ravens will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards, and he'll get this one up to about his 14. The tackle there by Rashad Weaver. Second down and eight. They run once more with Edwards. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. 
And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Throwing is Jackson. And he is caught. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Now Jackson. Again, it's OBJ back-to-back -back catches. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Up the middle, it's Hill. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. three timeouts plus the two-minute warning here's first and ten Jackson shakes off the sack and he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said if at first you don't succeed try try again and finally able to hold him in check He'd been carving them up, running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Now it's Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. This is first and ten. Jackson. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Plenty of time left, plus all three timeouts. Here's first and ten. Now Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Here's Jackson. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Here's first and goal. Jackson. Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Throwing Jackson. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Titans have just about sewn up this football game. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. 
Brown cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field, but sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given, and it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. down to a knee. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, standing just outside his own goal line. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, 